Welcome to the channel. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is going to be your love reading for the next two weeks. If you would like to know when your readings are going to be uploaded, just go to the description box below. Find your day, and that's your specific day, Taurus, every two weeks. All right, let's get into your reading. Personal reading link is in the description box below. And um, yeah, you got the sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, a revelation comes to you this weekend. Or I'm sorry, this next two weeks. Solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. All right. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Starting with the lovers here. Okay, Taurus. Maybe there's a connection to a Gemini. Hmm. There's a revelation here. Somebody, like, realizes. It's revealed to them that they're in love with you, whoever they are. We'll find out. We'll see if a, a court card shows up. But solidarity, protection, power. Wow. Okay. There's a decision. A decision is being made. Let's take a look. Somebody's coming back. Somebody's returning to your life. Okay. Someone that you are separated from or have been separated from is coming back into your life. Fully learned from the past. They have fully learned some type of lesson here. Okay, and they are returning. Let's take a look. In the next two weeks, someone loves you. Oh my gosh, yes. Reconciliation. Definitely a wake-up call. Clarity. Come on. Someone feels like they've made an error in judgment. They made a they've made a bad decision. They're fearing they might have lost you, too. Okay, they were in denial. I do feel like someone was in denial, <clears throat> but they didn't realize it, so they thought that they weren't. They thought they were making the right decision. Could be a Scorpio. Thought they were making the right decision in the past here. Okay, and the only reason I'm saying past, we have a reunion reconciliation with someone here, and this Eight of Cups in reverse is someone's returning from the past. Okay, let's take a look. They went out, they decided to leave at some point. They went out, see if maybe they could find something better. <laughs> Or they needed to take if, if that's the case honestly <laughs> I would not take that person back but if they had other commitments and they couldn't do a relationship and it wasn't because they needed to find someone better but they just were like I just can't do this right now so much going on I need to figure things out <sighs> now it looks like they're coming in to be in solidarity with you so you know <clears throat> It feels like whatever they needed to do, whatever they thought they needed to do, maybe they just weren't ready for a relationship or whatever. Maybe they got scared. They could be, they're very, they might have been very avoidant. Okay, but that lover's card is the strength of two people together making a decision. Someone has decided that they love you. They really do love you. Yep, here's temperance, Sagittarius energy, Taurus. It was all in divine timing, you and this person. We're meant to meet, meant to connect, and meant to reconcile. Now, of course, you don't have to. You have your, you can choose your destiny, right? You don't have to if you don't want to, but yep. Something's ended here, and there's a new beginning starting. Another Scorpio card, Pisces. You're getting all this major. Listen, somebody's returning with all these major lessons. They're seeing things from a different angle since something has ended. They're seeing things in a way that they they didn't see them when they were with you do you know a wake-up call i feel like is happening here wow so next two weeks look at all this major arcana like i can't even believe this aquarius energy here taking a leap of faith coming back in your direction taurus oh my gosh you got the ten of cups here they're, like I don't know how many more times I can repeat it. This person wants to have a family with you. They want to have that happily ever after with you. They realize that they made a mistake or that they didn't want to lose you. They don't want to lose you. Wow, that's incredible. That's an incredible message. Family, contentment, total love and support. All right, what else does Taurus need to know? You can't make this up. You can't make it up. 
You can't make it up. <laughs> you just can't. There's the 1111. So somebody definitely ran away or, you know, uh, maybe they cheated. I don't know. Like you're going to have to make your own decision about if you want this person back. I'm not telling you to take them back. I'm telling you what's going on with this person. They might have just, this can be a card of escapism. They might have ran away because they were scared or afraid of their feelings or maybe they were avoidant or they snuck away. Um, but definitely now they're running away from whatever they were in <laughs> or just getting out of it. It could be a mindset because we have all these swords. So this could be about their thoughts. Their thoughts might have dragged them out of a relationship or away from you. And here they are returning. Yeah. I mean, let me take a look at you. Taurus. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Oh, right. Oh, you, you're struggling. Wow. You might not be feeling like you're worthy. Maybe they abandoned or ran away. Um, whatever they did to leave had an effect on you. Maybe you're still recovering from that. That can be a, a sign of dependency or financial dependency. Let's take a look. What else? Right. So it looks like good. So it looks like you got yourself, perhaps in the time that they were gone, into a really good stable situation for yourself. Money, put money in the bank. You got it. Maybe when you were with them, you went broke. <laughs> you might have. Um, or you were struggling. That's poverty, right? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it can also be ill health. You might have, you're, you're, you're back. That's what I'm saying. Like as of right now, okay, you're back. You're good. That queen, or king or queen of pentacles, this is 100% the Taurus card. Look at the Taurus bulls on the top. This is the Taurus card. You're back. Even if your mindset, even if your money's not great, but your mindset, you're strong. You're stable. You're grounded right now, okay? Whatever you went through, You're good. Okay. Let's see. What else, dude? What else going on with you? Hmm. Look at you. Wow. Seven of Wands. That's like powerhouse energy. You are, I would have to say, defending yourself and protecting yourself. You're definitely in protective mode. So you went from being maybe just not doing so great. I think you might have, maybe you swung the pendulum a little too far in the other direction after maybe somebody abandoning you or just being ill. Uh, there's nothing, like, I don't know a Taurus that doesn't come back 100%. Every Taurus is very strong and resilient. They always do. But they have big hearts. Taurus, you're Venus ruled. You have a big, 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 big heart. When you love, you love. And uh, so you might be a little bit protective of yourself right now in self-defense mode. Try not to get hurt. Try not to let anybody come in and do what you've you know cause what you felt before see so i don't know if you're protecting your full self or you're just protecting your your heart i feel like you're protecting your full self but when this person shows up whoever they are you're going to be very happy you will because i think maybe somebody some of you knew they were going to return you might have been hoping but somewhere in your the back of your mind while in between, it looks like you, you worked on yourself. You did what you need to do for yourself. And you're probably still doing that. And that's great. And that's great. And you should. We have Leo energy there. This could be another Virgo. Could be a, or another Taurus. Could be another Capricorn. Like I said, whoever this person is coming in. I, like, I don't know if they're coming in with their tail between their legs. It could be. But they're definitely learned. They're coming back with lessons learned for sure. Okay. Now you have the King of Cups showing up here. This is softening of your heart. Okay. So I feel like, you know, sometimes when people like they get hurt, right? We all know this because we, we've all been through this. We get hurt, then we go into super defensive mode and we block everybody out. Okay. It's really important that you don't lock your heart up so entirely that no one, that you share it with no one. Okay. Um, and... The thing about the King of Cups, for you to get into that King of Cups energy, masculine or feminine energy, is 
more so for you to remember that you're a very tolerant and empath- empathic person that you're very you're a very healing nurturing and supportive person don't don't lock those things about you away okay those are good those are gifts that you bring now i don't know if you should be that way with this person coming back around you might want to but you also need to be logical as well so you need to activate your heart and your head okay don't leave your heart you, you definitely want to protect it but the king of swords is standing in front of the king of cups you need to embody all the temperaments of the zodiacs right because the king of swords is very strategic self-sufficient and totally honest not only with herself or himself but also with other people and i think you'll probably be very honest look put some boundaries up here you know if somebody's coming back in they've learned their lesson well you know something your energy might be like yeah but you know what i got these boundaries up now and i am going to protect myself because if i'm going to let you back in i need to make sure that you're not just going to run away from me or the relationship again and you should because you know fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me you don't want to go through that energy right you don't want to go through that again now listen <laughs> if you don't want this person back you just say no no i'm good bye but if you do want to try to work things out and see if things can be worked out you still have to be you know you're once bitten twice shy i feel like you still need to be protective in some way or at least have some boundaries up for yourself if boundaries aren't for the other person they're for us they're for us our boundaries when we place our boundaries for ourselves it gives the message to other people this is how far i'm willing to go it's not that the other person needs to change in the sense of if you know like because you can't control what other people do you can only control yourself so make sure you have you're in control of yourself right 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 okay someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts so there's an obsession that's hanging around here a little bit also passion try something you've never done before this feels to me like get out of your comfort zone vulnerability now that spirit's saying you can be completely open with this person maybe at some point but you're going to need to like find that out because you've been through something now they want you to be completely open <clears throat> they might want you to be completely open meaning this other person <laughs> sorry when you walk away it doesn't work that way yeah always protect your heart okay and you have intuition you already know the answer you seek all right let's get see if we can get some initials signs aquarius showing up here we have cancer and libra could be most significant in this all right, we have 67, 55, 45, 86, 33, 25, 21. These could be ages or years of birth. 80, 75, 48, oops, 39. We have the 7th. We have 60, 63. Somebody's born in November. We have the 7th again. Lucky 7s. We have 31, we have 14, uh, okay, so we have the initial T, we also have the fourth, we have the initial C, we have the initial E, we have someone, yep, a May birthday, there's a May Taurus here, we have an I, we have a D, Diana, D, we have L, A, and O. Okay, we have Eileen, name Eileen. Okay, somebody's in LA or at LAX. It's coming back or is it at an airport. Okay, we have Darlene or Dala. Seal. Somebody's very pale. Oh, we also have Dale. Someone's name is Dale. Okay. Ariel. Hmm. Okay. Jax. Jax. I'm picking up. Uh, somebody plays a cello. 
Okay, somebody's wearing a tie or is going to be wearing a tie for something. All right, let's get a couple of charms. Let's see what your charm message is here. Okay, <laughs> you have an anchor. All right, so that can be related to a boat, being on a boat or just putting an anchor in the water and fishing or doing something. This is also anchoring yourself, right? You need to anchor yourself. And I don't think that's really hard for a Taurus. Uh, Taurus is uh, pretty, every Taurus I know, pretty anchored. They're pretty, con like they stick with their convictions. They're pretty firm about things. And very high confidence. Yeah. Okay. Anchor yourself when it comes to love. And you might have a tendency to do that. But be careful that you don't go overboard with that anchor so that you don't budge. Right. Um, there's some things I feel like in life you want to be anchored to. Right. You want to put your roots down. You want to stay put. Um, but if a relationship ends... Like, for example, and somebody moves on to somebody else and that's it. They're gone. You got to you got to lift that anchor. You got to lift the anchor. OK, um, if that's not the situation, somebody's coming back and they want to try to come back in is what I'm seeing. Stay anchored to and tethered to your beliefs and your convictions and your boundaries. Biggest message of all. So the next two weeks, Taurus, you do have somebody who's going to be making a return. Somebody's coming back home or they're going to attempt to. They made a decision. They've learned their lesson. They've, are you going to get an apology? Probably, but I feel like mostly they're going to want to talk to you and tell you that I choose you, Pikachu. <laughs> now, like I said, if, if they, I don't know, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to tell you what to do. You're, you have agency, you have your own life, you figure it out, but just to let you know, this is the message I'm picking up. Um, I will see you guys back here in two more weeks. Take care. Love you. Bye-bye. You said I was the only one. No one likes being lied to. You made this mess and left me with the pain.